Now let's, uh, let me, we don't have to create again. Let me comment that out and create our next uh, method to add records. Static, it's going to be static, void. Um, let's call this add record to XML. All right, I'm going to copy a couple of things from here. First, it's going to be the same thing that we have to create the new instance of the document, XML document. Next, I'm going to need this, but instead of saving it, I'm going to load it. So I'm going to change the save to load. That's going to load the file and uh, inside our instance. Um, next thing I want to do, I want to create a new XML element. Actually, no, I want to select the root element. So to select the root element, I'm going to need to XML node. I'm going to call the XML node. And I'm just going to name this variable movie. And I'm going to say document dot select single node. I'm going to pass in the uh, so the, no, not move this to root. We are selecting the root. I'm sorry. And I'm going to pass in the movies node in there. So this way we are selecting the uh, root element inside our file. And now I'm going to add, create a new XML element, and it's going to be the movie. I'm going to say document, create me a new element, and name this movie. This is the singular, this is the child element of the root element. Movies is the uh, root element. Okay, so we created. Next, I want to add that to the root. So root dot append child movie. Okay. So that's added to the root. Next, I want to create this ID attribute. Attribute and add to the child the movie. For this, I'm going to need an XML attribute. XML attribute, I'm going to call this ID. I'm going to say document, create a new attribute. And we're going to call this ID. It's going to be the ID. Okay. Next, I'm going to say uh, movie. Uh, here, I'm not going to say append child because there is there can be more than one attribute, and there is something called attributes actually. So attributes is a collection; it can be more than one attribute that can be added to the same element. So movie dot attributes dot append. And then I'm going to pass in the ID. So that's going to add the ID attribute we just created to the uh, movies node or element. Okay, next I want to add the title. Um, I want to add this guy here to the uh, movie. So XML again, XML element. You have to create it first. Title uh, doc dot create element, and the name is title. So these are just variables. Uh, if it's maybe confusing, but. Uh,
these guys are just variable names we're given them these are the actual tag names okay just a little uh, I guess explanation so we created title element now we have to add that to the movie as a child append as a child title passing it the variable okay you're doing good I'm going to do a console.write line again and doc dot in XML okay, let's run this and see what happens build and run nothing happened because we didn't call the method all right so I'm gonna have to add copy and call that method and run it again all right wonderful so we have our new movie open close tags we have our ID in there as an attribute then we have our title child note so we still don't have the values here and for the title and ID so that's what we're going to do next so the enter close this out so <clears throat> the value for the attribute I like to go up here just in between these two lines so ID that value this is going to be it's going to be so we have only one child node here one movie element so I'm going to say let's just give it one for now I was thinking to go with the count so right now we have added over here so we already have one in there mm -mm -mm -mm. let me try something here so if I say dark dot select nodes and if I pass in this expat it's expat and expat so if I say movies dot movies slash movie that count so what we get um, so this is going to be integer we need to call the two string on this let's see what happens I think this might work so we're getting the count of the movie element and as I as the ID value let's try this So yes, we gain one. But this way, at least it's dynamic. It doesn't have to be static. So it's going to add, if there are two elements, it's going to be, you know, the next number. All right, so that's, that's going to work for us. All right, so that's going to be the uh, value of the ID attribute. Next, we're going to and the inner text of this title which is this guy here the godfather all right so let's go ahead and add that to it so i'm going to say uh, title that inner text equals the godfather 
Okay, let's run this again. All right, so we got the ID with value, value of one, and we got the title and the, with the inner text of the Godfather. All right, perfect. That's all good. Let's save this to the file now. So I'm gonna copy this guy from here and paste it over here just before the uh, so this way if we run into any issues while saving the files this won't run this line we'll know we have a problem okay let's run this actually let's take a look where we left off our file here this is just still just the root element so let's run this and see what happens okay that ran and we added the new child element of movie with an id of one and then we added the title with the inner text of the godfather that's great now i'm going to change this to Godfather, where is Godfather? Over here. Let's change this to Shawshank. Redemption. And let's run this again. If we did right, we should get an idea of two. And then the Shawshank Redemption is here, the Godfather is over here, the ID is 1, so that's all good. And let's uh, take a look at our move, the file, actual file. That's perfect, they're working fine. Okay, the last one was Lord of the Rings. Let's run this again. Uh, we should get that as ID of three with ID of three. No other rings, perfect. So okay, we created the file. We added records. Okay.